Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, I hope you're having a great day in Jesus, has an original autograph of Moses from the book of Deuteronomy been discovered. Now this is an absolutely fascinating book. I've been following it. I've done a segment, maybe a couple on the, or maybe just one on the Biblical Archaeology Today podcast with Steve Waldron. And what it is, is they discovered this scroll in the 1860s and a guy came out and said it. Well then they really discredited him. They said, well, that couldn't be the, you know, what it purports to be. And so kind of, it was a closed door. Well, some people have begun to re-examine it, this particular uh, scroll called the Moses Scroll. And there is a growing team of scholars that seem to think that it is actually true. And so it's fascinating. You can look at it all over the internet. I think BBC and maybe um, Biblical Archaeological Society and different people like that. Maybe Reuters has a deal on it. Um, what do I think? I, I doubt it. But I, you know, I think it's worth exploring. It is a fascinating proposition. And so Again, there was a gentleman, I think his name was Shephira, and again, it, it came out, maybe this is big, and then no total discrediting. But it's happened so often that sometimes people that are discrediting are wrong, people can be wrong, or sometimes they have agendas in discrediting. And so some manuscripts, you know, like the poor folks at the Bible Museum, uh, what's his name? Steve Green with Hobby Lobby paid enormous amounts of money for Dead Sea Scrolls. Well, now they're coming out saying they're not the Dead Sea Scrolls, even though I'll show you this little transcription as I'm talking. Now, Emmanuel Tav, who is supposed to be the leading light on the Dead Sea Scrolls, he said, I know it made a lot of news them saying that those Dead Sea Scrolls were forgeries, he said, maybe, I think it was Tav, who said, not so fast. If not, it was somebody else. But not so fast in that. So this is a book on one of the most interesting, if you're into the Bible and biblical textual criticism, this is one of the most interesting controversies currently going. That in his uh, Codex Sinaiticus real, or is it a forgery? So I would highly recommend this particular book if just so you can get a perspective on this fascinating uh, study wouldn't it be interesting if we did have something that moses actually wrote but god bless you i'll talk with you later in jesus name